Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure for me to speak in today's final webinar of the Climate Legislation Webinar Series. I would like to thank our partners, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Secretariat and the Center for International Sustainable Development Law for co-organizing this important webinar series with us. I would also like to thank the several hundred participants who have taken part in this webinar series. These webinars have brought together a diverse range of stakeholders, including parliamentarians and policy makers, but also scientists, academics, lawyers and climate change practitioners from over 50 countries. The webinar series has sought to build the capacity of parliamentarians and policy makers across the globe on legislation and governance related topics that may arise in the implementation of the Paris Agreement. We have had the opportunity to learn from leading experts on climate legislation and from parliamentarians who are working on the front lines of enacting climate legislation in their countries. We have also had the opportunity to directly engage with part participants who have raised important questions and crucial points on this topic, leading to rich and interactive discussions. I would like to commend the engagement of parliamentarians and other stakeholders in addressing climate change. I encourage continued efforts to work together on this front. The climate emergency is very much with us and the COVID-19 pandemic has created new inequalities that must be considered when addressing climate change going forward. An all of society approach is needed to ensure meaningful and inclusive action on climate change takes place. Parliamentarians must take the lead in this process, including in ensuring the implementation of the Paris Agreement through their legislative, budgetary, oversight and representation functions. Supporting parliaments and parliamentarians in their efforts to tackle climate change is a priority for the IPU. We support bilateral, regional and international parliament-parliament engagement to facilitate the sharing of good practices and lessons learned on addressing the climate emergency. Our high-level commitment to Paris is without doubt including the recent declaration of the fifth World Conference of Speakers of Parliament in August 2020. This declaration reaffirms parliamentarians' commitment to the Paris Agreement and the implementation thereof. Our MOU with the UNFCCC Secretariat demonstrates our joint commitment to build the capacity of national parliaments on climate change over the next five years. Now is the time for parliaments and all stakeholders to take stronger action on climate legislation. Doing so will not only help limit the adverse impacts of climate change, but also contribute to sustainable development. The IPU remains fully committed to supporting parliaments around the globe in implementing the Paris Agreement over the coming years. In so doing, we want to serve both people and the planet. I wish you a successful final webinar in this series and look forward to further engaging on tackling climate change. Thank you very much.